2K Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Serenity Championship is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this third round action. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam and this player starts their round in the lead. How should they approach today? This player just needs to keep going out and just staying as relaxed as they have been and don't take unnecessary chances. Just keep it simple, find some fairways, find some greens, hole a few putts if you will, and see where it lands at the end of the day. Well, that's enough from me. It's time to pull the trigger. Let's get down to the course. And let's see what he can do here today. Good shot there. Henny, what's the player facing here? He's looking at perhaps 175, I'd say. Nice shot, that. That should find the surface. Oh, that one just missed the hole. Oh, a wonderful shot and a chance for birdie here on the first. Just a short putt remaining here. Well, that's a lovely way to get going. They've already started this event under par. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. He sits in first position. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> Tee shot is looking good here. One win so far this season. Looking for number two here today. This is bold. Going for it in two. Oh, I love this type of courage, Rich. Going for it in two. I tell you what, what a sensational play. This player stepped up their game, a bold play, hopefully a bold reward. A big opportunity with an eagle putt. Oh, this looks pure. Okay, steady now. Always nice when you can just go ahead and tap one in for birdie. He's currently sitting in first place. Next up is a par four, always a stern test. Well, this should find the short grass. Time for the second shot into the third. This one is right down the pipe. And this player seems to not be too intimidated having Justin Thomas in their group today. That was a fantastic shot into this green. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Let's see what happens here on the fourth. That's about as far as you're going to see this part of three play, Luke. Player's going to go in there with the mid, probably shortish iron. Obviously, with the water on the right, you want nothing to do with that side as the bank severely slopes downwards. Bailing out to left of the bunkers, not so hot either. But with just a short iron in your hand, you think that these players are good enough to fire right at it, don't you? Well, that's comfortably on the dance floor. Well played. Wow, what a shot. An opportunity for a birdie here. Leading by a whopping seven shots after that one.
looking to ride the momentum after coming off a birdie here with this shot. No harm, no foul there with that shot. From around 180 yards out. Opting for the six iron. Oh, that one's straight at the pipe. Oh, right by the hole. And another fine looking strike, this one. It'll find the green. It's amazing to see how good this player is in full flow. Mark it down, that's birdie number five. Now, current leader is enjoying a seven stroke advantage. Here we have a par five. Is it time to get after it or play it safe? Not bad. Time for the second shot here at the sixth. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. An eagle putter waits. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Setting up this putt 15 feet from the cup. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. And that putt will drop and he'll extend his lead. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Next up is this two-shot hole. Left nothing in the tank on that one. That was pummeled. Second shot here on the seventh. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two-putt that for sure. Well, this would be a bonus. This is a very long putt. No, that's too bad. It's a lot slower going up the hill than what this player read. That gets the job done. Our leader is currently enjoying an eight-shot advantage. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Clubbing up, smart. Got to control it, though. Let's see. Oh. 
Well, that's well played into Bernie range here at the eighth. And they've been rolling the ball great today. Another great look. Putt is underway. Oh, well played. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. The lead is getting bigger and bigger. We have a par four on this one. That is absolutely spot on. Playing this shot from about 180 yards. Looks to be going with the six iron. This one is all over it. Oh, that's a great approach shot. That would be back-to-back -back birdies for this player. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. And I like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. All right, Rich, we've made the turn now into the final nine. What are your thoughts so far? Luke, so far, it's been entertaining watching these two go head-to-head. -head. Not too sure exactly how this is going to play out, but so far, so good. Love watching these two compete. Good shot there. It's a fairway finder for sure. Second shot here on the 10th hole. Oh, I love this person's confidence and courage. Driver off the deck here. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Absolutely. Love watching a player be bold and be rewarded for it. Anything in five feet would be handy from here. So close to the eagle. And just a little bit of clean-up work remaining on this hole. Now, eight shots in front. Time to tee off on the 11th. This player's got some lovely momentum coming off a birdie at the last. Nicely done. Seven feet to the cup. Ooh, nice line. Yeah, it's a lovely putt to make for Birdie. Take some pride in that one. Well, this player's mighty fine. Their lead is now nine after that performance.
Let's see what happens here at the 12th. A wonderful shot and a birdie opportunity coming up at the 12th. Oh, terrific. What an effort. Our current leader is enjoying a 10-shot lead. Now on the tee, fresh off a birdie. A great opportunity to build on that momentum. That makes its way to the first cut. Going with the seven. Wow, did this come out beautifully. Is that what they had in mind? Not too sure what they were thinking. Too much club. And here we are with the third shot. Are you kidding me? Out of the rough, into the hole. Thank you very much. And let's have one more look at that shot. Yeah, Seve would be envious of this one. What a chip in. <laughs> and staying right where they were in today's rankings after that, This hole is a long par four. Yeah, generous landing area, thankfully out to the right-hand side. Obviously a bunker down the left, and if you miss it even further left, there's water lurking. But the second shot, this is where it gets slippery. This is where it gets dangerous, especially to a back right hole location. All of a sudden, the water down the right-hand side comes into full view, bailing out to the left in the bunker. Not so hot either. Say what, it takes a brave player to fire at this flag stick. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. This one heading towards the green. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. Mm, that's right out of the copy books. Exquisite. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. Hey, that's a chance. Yeah, nice mid range birdie putt, that one. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. As we head now to the par five next. Well struck. Well, I think they're attacking this one, taking it on in two. I like their style. Going with a three wood here. Woo, back there, horsey. Not able to find the green in two, but a bold play. Shocking. A missed green in regulation. Wow, from a dodgy lie ridge. How special was that? That was sensational, Luke. Well, that's worth a replay. Let's take another look. Perfect distance, perfectly judged, and look at that. Straight in the hole.
currently in first position. Stepping up to the 16th tee now. Nice hole, the last one coming off that eagle. Let's see what's in store for us now. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Yeah, good safe shot this one. That should find the surface. That's a great shot here at 16. It sets up a chance for Birdie. Looks like a pretty straightforward five footer to me. Oh, he's on fire today, building upon his lead, hole after hole. Still in the lead now after that hole. We've arrived at a par four. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? Yep, I've paced this. He's got around 195. Going with the five iron here. <laughs> Wonderfully played. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. Wonderful putt, and that puts some real pressure on their rival now. An extraordinary performance. This player is now 12 strokes in front of the field. Well, here we are, the 18th hole. I tell you what, though, I like this finishing hole because it gives you options. You don't have to necessarily hit driver here. If you do, you got to take it over some pretty tall trees, and you can't miss it to the left-hand side. The safe plate, lay it out to the right, but now your second shot becomes just a little bit longer, a little bit more difficult to get it that close to the hole. I love the options you have on this finishing hole. A great opportunity for one final birdie. Oh, stop it. What a shot. A seven-footer right here. That signs off on this player's performance for the day.